Before handling cylinders, ensure your hands are clean. If you have been using alcohol-based gel or liquids to decontaminate your hands, make sure the alcohol has totally evaporated. When selecting the cylinder for use, check the cylinder is clean and free from any damage. Ensure the cylinder is free from oil and grease, particularly around the Schrader and fir tree outlets. Ensure you have the correct medical gas by checking the cylinder label. Check the expiry date on the batch label fitted to the cylinder. Make sure the contents gauge is in the green zone. This indicates that the cylinder is full. Remove the tamper evident hand wheel cover by pulling the tear ring and discard into a recycle bin. If the cylinder has been used before, this cover will not be present. Ensure you have sufficient gas for the treatment by inspecting the contents gauge. If the needle is in the red zone, there is a limited capacity and you may need to change the cylinder. Prepare the cylinder for use before placing near the patient. Do not place the cylinder on the bed with the patient. A suitable holder should be used where possible. Remove the valve outlet cover. The hinged grey cover is pulled down. Do not remove the grey cover as you can refit after use. Ensure the flow selector on top of the cylinder is set to zero and the hand wheel is turned off before connecting the equipment. Attach tubing from mask or nasal cannula to the fir tree outlet securely. Slowly turn on the cylinder by rotating the hand wheel anti-clockwise until it comes to a complete stop. Set the prescribed flow by rotating the dial flow selector. Ensure that the correct flow rate number is clearly visible in the flow selector window. Check the gas is flowing. Ensure the cylinder is turned on and leak tested before placing near a patient. Use a suitable cylinder holder where possible. Insert the oxygen probe into the Schrader outlet. Ensure the probe clicks securely into place. Slowly turn on the cylinder by rotating the hand wheel anti-clockwise until it comes to a stop. Check for leaks, which may be indicated by a hissing sound. Place a mask or nasal cannula onto the patient. If using a mask, ensure a tight seal. Ensure the clinical condition of the patient remains satisfactory throughout the therapy. Use pulse oximetry where appropriate. Check the contents gauge at regular intervals to ensure there is sufficient gas. Remove the mask or nasal cannula from the patient. Turn off the cylinder by rotating the hand wheel clockwise until it comes to a stop. Remove the tubing by firmly pulling the tube whilst holding the cylinder handle. Release the probe by twisting the capstan clockwise or by pressing the outer circle of a quick connector. Turn the flow selector to zero. Replace the outlet cover. Pull up the hinged grey cover. Check the cylinder gauge for content level. Return the cylinder to designated in-use or empty storage area.